to a good evening. BB's already talking about appeal, an appeal, and the families of the women he's convicted of killing didn't hold back their emotions and their anger in today's sentencing hearing. Lives. The pain I feel every day can let me put it to words. I wish I could lay my hands on you because I tear you up. I don't care what the hell you think you are. The hearing itself, a formality. The law mandates a life sentence. But today, they faced him for the first time. Tony did not deserve to be killed and dumped like garbage. The families of the women at the center of all this, Tanya Howarth and Amy Hensley. Moms found buried in a shallow, frozen grave. The stories of life's left after lives lost. Man, after we told the boys that mama wasn't coming home, Jonah, and her eight-year-old, asked, but who's going to meet us at the bus stop? Before all this, he spoke. The calm-faced convicted killer. He read a statement. His voice publicly heard for the first time since the trial. Mistrial, he said to the judge. This was not a fair trial. Nine people on the jury saw the case on the news before the trial. I did not shoot Amy. Amy is my friend, and I should not be convicted of Amy. I was not in my right state of mind when I shot Tommy. This was not a first degree murder. This is an insult to the, the jurors that they need to give you their trial. And it's an insult to the community. The conviction on Amy was for second degree murder. The judge could have sentenced less than life on that one. Her mom begged him not to. It would feel like she did have a final say. Just one more thing that you son of a took away from her. Bibi's mom after the sentencing. I feel sorry for them, yes. I feel sorry for the little boys. I feel sorry for my grandsons that won't have their daddy either. I feel sorry for everyone in this whole mess. It is a complete mess. For them, it's a chapter closed as they move on with the life sentence they too got. Theirs came down that cold day in January. For now, it is to prison for B.B. If he does want to appeal, the county will provide him an attorney to do that. B.B. said he is sorry, however, for burying the bodies. He says he should not have done that. In the newsroom, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8.